24 years old and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by. So I was born and raised in Cote d'Ivoire, West Africa. Um, my first language is French. I moved to the US about six years ago. So I started my whole education by a community college. It was smaller, um, the classes were smaller and it was just easier for me to ask questions without feeling embarrassed. So I did two years in the community college, got my associate in business administration and then moved to a four year university to get a bachelor in finance, um, which you know I completed in two years too. So it took me the normal four, hour, four years um, to get a bachelor degree. I got my bachelor in finance and um, the summer prior to graduation, I interned in internal audit for a company. I absolutely loved my experience and decided to go back full time um, after graduation, um, which is what I did. Um, started full time for this company, it was an amazing experience. I met so many, so many incredible people, um, which you know, I'm very lucky to call friends now. Um, spent two years there, learned a lot, um, and you know, during my time there, decided to learn more about, about accounting um, and decided to take online classes to um, meet the requirements to sit for the CPA. Um, so this is a whole other story that I'll share with you guys later. But I spent two years there. I was fortunate enough to travel, um, went, was able to travel in Asia, in Europe, in the Middle East, um, to you know different locations of that company um, worldwide, which you know it was just an incredible experience um, to be young and to you know travel all over the world. So very grateful for that. Recently, um, I moved to a big four company. So for those of you that are not familiar with the whole public accounting world, um, there are four big public accounting firms, um, you know, in the world or in the US, I'm not sure, I think it's worldwide. Um, so you have Deloitte, you have PwC, you have ENY, and you have KPMG. Um, so you working for them, it's, you know, it takes you to work with a lot of different clients, um, you know, all over the world um, in different service lines from assurance to advisory to tax you know, to CBS, so many more. And then within each, you know, for example, advisory, you have, you know, a lot of different sleeves. You have risk, you have performance improvements, um, you know, you have different things like that. So very recently, um, actually a couple weeks ago, I started with a big four company. Um, I am currently doing risk advisory, um, working with different clients and, you know, working on their internal audit function, um, solving problems, um, critical thinking, which is, there are all things that I really, really enjoyed at my previous job and I'm really excited to bring it to the next level and to continue learning in different industries and, you know, just working with different clients. So why am I making this video or this series? Um, because it's going to be a series, um, I'm going to have a couple of different parts, but I'm making this series to talk about my journey, switching from finance to public accounting. Um, you know, what was my thought process? How did I go about it? Um, you know, the whole journey of meeting the requirements to sit for the CPA examination um, and to passing the exams. Um, I'm not done yet. I have one left, hopefully, <laughs> crossing fingers. Um, and, you know, balancing my time, uh, working full time, traveling, and, you know, just being able to study as much as I do. Um, so I just wanted to share that with people I know a big, big, big part of me, um, you know, what kept me going. Um, a lot of that had to do with watching YouTube videos from people that were going through the exact same thing. Um, you know, I have a couple people that I was following um, that were passing, you know, they were taking the exam for the CPA or they were working in a public accounting firm and, you know, studying at the same time and just watching them um, struggle 
gave me the strength to um, just wake up early in the morning, for example, and study too, because I felt like I wasn't alone. So this series is going to be me reflecting and hopefully helping people because there's not a lot of videos out there. Um, you know, I think there are maybe three or four people tops that I found on YouTube going through the same journey and talking about it. Um, and I also want to reflect on the different exams that I took, how I felt going into it, what was my study schedule like, um, you know, what was my feelings after the exams, what was my, um, what were my feelings after um, the exams. So I just want to really reflect on that and you know it's also for me, I'm being a little selfish, but it's also for me to in a couple of years look back and be able to be like, damn girl, you, you, good job. Um, I just, it's just something for me to um, making a public journal um, to be able to reflect back in a couple of years. But um, yeah, so this is just an introduction to talk to you guys about me, about what this is gonna be about. Um, follow me on Instagram if you don't already um, you know a lot of a big reason why I'm doing this it's because um, a lot of people on Instagram um, kind of like motivated me to just share my story and see where that goes um, but yeah um, if you want me to talk about anything else please do uh, leave me some comments um, in the comment section below and I will try my best to um, get to those requests, but yeah, stay tuned for the next one. My next video is going to be about my thought process going from finance to accounting, um, the journey of taking additional classes because as a finance major, you really don't have enough accounting classes. I think we only take, or remember my time, I only had like two basic accounting classes and you need a lot more <laughs> to even qualify to sit for the CPA exam. And sorry, for those of you, those of you that don't know, CPA stands for Certified Public Accountant. Um, and yeah, and just, you know, the journey of applying through that, taking the exams, what did I take first, what did I take next, why I did it that way, what is my study schedule. So yeah, I'm really excited to share that with you. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.